we did a lot with JJ today. Probably one of the I mean, one of the first things we had to do is figure out which size of bike he was on. One of the things we need with him is the ability for him to be comfortable and relaxed in his upper body. And he doesn't have the flexibility that some of the other riders have, so it, it foreshortens the front of the bike a little bit. So the small has a shorter top to it. Well, it feels actually better than what I thought. We ended up a little bit working more than what we thought, but uh, I think it's a perfect position now. I We went a little bit lower in the front than, than before, so we actually gaining a little bit more aero. And then uh, checking always like the seat height, that's also a key. So I don't try so actually put on like a perfectly square like circles and now losing any power any time. It's just a matter of uh, losing a little bit of aero, but being able to put the whole power, that was the best thing actually for me. And it changed the whole concept about it in the prologue. So once we got the, the right size bike under him, then we really dialed in the position. We worked with JJ a lot last year. He hated time trials. He hated them. I asked him what he liked about his time trial bike and he told me absolutely nothing. So we worked on that position a lot and he went from just surviving time trials and prologues uh, to now with the position we created last year, he wants to be a contender in the prologue. I mean, he's actually shooting his sight on hopefully winning or doing really well in a prologue so that the next day if he wins a sprint, he might get a jersey out of it. That would never have happened in the old position and he knew it. What I used to do was like use a so like no time for but the prologue as a opener for the day after. So it's pretty much kind of like a just training process more than a really racing. Uh, until this year in California, I did a bike fitting with the guys, and uh, it changed my completely position. They put me higher in the front, lower in the seat, and uh, after that, I was actually able to push what I had, even if it's not enough to win, but it's good enough so I can get closer to the first few guys and then try to get the lead the, the day after or the day after. It's going to be exciting to watch. I mean, now that I know what he's going for and I know the position he's in, when he's on TV and, and doing a prologue, I'll be rooting for him big time now. Right? If you know that you can do better, then you can focus also training in there. Uh, before, I've never even trained that. I just jump on the bike and you do the effort. Mm, so tie it up a little bit, other things, and you can even get better in, in many ways. So we will see along the way how it goes.